the FAA, the Federal Aviation Administration, just took a license away from a pilot in Alaska that was transporting state legal cannabis. So state law says, what does it say? You're allowed to transport legal cannabis within the confines of the state, you know, as long as they have the right paperwork, all the documentation and all that. It's not until you cross the border into another state that it becomes a federal issue and you start getting into traffic, illegality, all this kind of weird stuff. And this guy, this pilot, was completely above board. I want to mention that. He runs a state legal uh, uh, growing operation under flying high investments, and he was simply transporting his cannabis to where it needed to go. But remember, guys, this is Alaska. A lot of these places you can only get to when you're flying. So, uh, so James Fahez Jr., the pilot, uh, he's, he, he came forward saying he wants to appeal the decision, saying, I have done nothing wrong. And, uh, and, and the court is saying that's not the case, but there's no charges leveled against this guy. I think that's an important thing to note. The state is totally fine with him transporting his, uh, his cannabis wherever he needs to in Alaska. Uh, they have no issues. No charges have been brought against him. But the FAA, the FAA is a federal administration. And they say if the, uh, the federal government wanted to come after Fayez, they could have. So they had to act. That was their justification. And it's funny enough, they, they, uh, they only caught him because the state came in and looked at Fayez's manifest. And uh, Fayez said he was using his airplane as a personal transportation vehicle. He was transporting marijuana in his own personal vehicle. They said, no, you can't call it your own vehicle. Even though the plane was his own vehicle, you got to call it a private aircraft. And it was only then that the Federal Aviation Administration started freaking out. And they said, uh, we got to take that license away because federally it is illegal to transport marijuana by air. I don't know, kind of like it's illegal to transport it any other way, but I get ahead of myself. Uh, so when they went to the courts, Fayez is saying this isn't right. FFA is saying this. And the courts actually upheld the Federal Aviation Administration. They said that an airplane is, not, is technically a form of interstate travel. And Alaskan airspace is technically a channel for interstate commerce. So flying falls under federal regulations, right? Fayez came back and he was arguing, hey, no, cannabis was decriminalized in 2014, guys. There's no other way to get this cannabis to where I need to get it to. And I was never charged with a crime. So the FFA or the FAA coming in is them stepping out of bounds. But the court again said no. They upheld the, uh, the decision of the FAA. And th this, uh, according to Fayez and according to me, this looks like a, uh, an example of a federal uh, administration stepping in on states' rights and messing with state legal cannabis. We had another story this recently. Take a look at this. It was uh, it happened in New Mexico. Border police were seizing legal cannabis. So it looks like it might be a trend coming up. Check out that story for more on it. If you find more uh, more examples of this happening in your uh, your environment, let me know about it. I want to hear if this is a trend happening or not.